welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you how to check high voltage rectifier diodes, such as these ones, that go from 2000 volts for this microwave oven rectifier to 20,000 volts for this big one. And the reason is that you cannot check these diodes using the diode function of your multimeter as you normally do with rectifier diodes. So, in this video I will show you a simple method to test this kind of diodes. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files Select the PCB properties, select the payment method, and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. Testing normal diodes such as this one is very easy. Using your multimeter, you set it in the diode test function. Connect the negative test lead of the multimeter to the negative of the diode, which is the side where you have this little strip and the positive to the other side. If your diode is in good condition, you should get a reading on the multimeter on the order of around 0.6 volts. This value is the voltage drop of this particular diode. If you reverse the position of the diode, you should get no reading at all. This indicates that your diode is good. However, if you try to do the same with a high voltage diode, you will see that the multimeter does not show any reading at all. The reason why the multimeter cannot test high voltage diodes is the following. In order to check a diode, the multimeter applies a small voltage to the diode and then calculates the voltage drop on it and that is the value that you see on the screen. Let's test the voltage that the multimeter applies using another multimeter. This one is in the diode test function and I will check the voltage using this other multimeter which is in the voltage test function. So let's see. We can see that only applies 3.24 volts. However, the voltage drop on high voltage diodes is larger than for normal ones and the voltage that the multimeter applies is not enough to test them. In general, high voltage diodes are made internally by connecting several lower voltage diodes in series. Something like this. Here I have four normal diodes connected in series. Therefore, the voltage drops add together and we end up with a very large voltage drop. For example, we can see if we check one diode, we obtain a voltage close to 0.6 volts and if we check two diodes in series, we get double that value. For three diodes, the multimeter cannot read the voltage drop because the voltage that the multimeter applies is not high enough. This simple circuit can be used to check our diodes. We apply a large voltage, say 20 volts, to the diode through a resistor. If your diode is good, current will flow through the resistor and the diode and you will see a voltage drop both in the diode and in the resistor. Here you can put your multimeter probes and read the voltage drop through the diode. If, for example, you read 5 volts of voltage drop through the diode, then the rest of the voltage, 15 volts, will be dropped through the resistor. If your diode is shorted, then you will read no voltage through the diode and all the supply voltage through the resistor. 
On the other hand, if the diode is open, then here you will read the full supply voltage. Let's see, here I have the resistor and diode in series and I am applying 20 volts from my power supply. And let's see the voltage drop through the diode. It is approximately 8 volts and that means that the rest of the voltage, 12 volts, will be dropped through the resistor. There you have it. So, this diode is in good condition and has a voltage drop of 8 volts that, as we saw before, cannot be measured by the diode test function of a normal multimeter. Finally, here's this other circuit that uses the same principle, but this uses LEDs to show the state of our diode. This is our test diode. And let's see, we have a source of AC and of course, if our diode is open, then no current flows through the circuit and both LEDs will be off. Now, if the diode is in good condition, then through the positive cycle of the AC, you have positive here, then the current will flow through this LED, which is correctly polarized, through the resistor, through our diode, and it will turn on. On the negative cycle, the current can flow through this other LED, but not through our diode. So, for a good diode, only this LED will turn on. On the other hand, if our test diode is shorted, then the current can flow in either direction here, and one LED will turn on on the positive cycle, and the other on the negative cycle. So for a shorted diode, both LEDs will turn on. Let's see. Here's my AC supply, a normal transformer. One side of the transformer goes to the resistor, the two LEDs, I have a green one and a blue one. And this is the other side of the transformer. So let me connect our test diode. And you can see that only the green LED is on. This indicates that our diode is good. If the diode is shorted, then we will have a situation like this. And both LEDs, the green and the blue, will turn on. And of course, if the, if the diode is open, then we have no path for the current and both LEDs will be off. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next video. If you want to help me, please visit my Patreon page.